As we head into the end of this week and into the week, and there's a few different things to keep in mind. We're still holding on to rain chances as we head into the day tomorrow. The exact same trough of low pressure that was impacting us today will still be impacting us tomorrow. And that is why I am keeping our rain chances elevated. So be on the lookout for a few afternoon showers or storms as we head into the day tomorrow. Thankfully, once tomorrow is over, the forecast for the weekend looking absolutely perfect under probably the most of the sunniest skies all day long. It will still be hot and humid though with temperatures climbing into the low to mid 90s. And then unfortunately, we're back to another rain chance as we head into your Monday as our next trough of low pressure will be impacting us. But before we get to that, let's take a look at your forecast for the end of the work week tomorrow. Temperatures topping out in the low to mid 90s right along the immediate coastline, mid 90s as you head further inland. Heat index values in between 97 to 102. So please be sure you are staying hydrated if you are gonna be working outdoors under probably sunny skies with a few afternoon showers or swims possible. Southwesterly winds at about five to 10 miles per hour. Like I said just a few seconds ago the forecast for the weekend is looking absolutely great a lot of drier air will be working into our area based off of what forecasting models are showing as far as water vapor goes and this will lead to a very nice weekend to say the least under probably sunny skies all day long so a perfect weekend to do some house hunting probably sponsored by mickey uh by probably sponsored that is by miss vicky durkin and remax southern shores it will still be very hot though temperatures starting out in the mid to upper 80s warming up into the upper 80s to lower 90s as we head into the second half of your day, only very small rain chances as we head into the late afternoon and early evening hours as well. Let's take a look at what's going on as we head into the early parts of next week. Our next trough of low pressure will be impacting the eastern seaboard, and this won't lead to a wider rain event day, but it'll definitely increase our rain chances, especially as we head into your Monday and your Tuesday. Quick look at what's going on in the tropics. I'm still very happy to report that I'm not looking at any particular area of investigation to watch out for. Although I'm still looking at all these tropic waves that are now in the MDR or the main development region in the Atlantic Basin because as we head over the next several weeks, this is the peak of the hurricane season or, or when we typically see the most action in the tropics. And we're also looking at a very big cluster of convection or thunderstorm activity now working into the western part of Africa. But once again, there's nothing to worry about in the tropics. However, we still need to keep an eye on the tropics as we head over the next seven to 10 days. But like I said, I'm very happy to report nothing to watch over the next seven to 10 days. Here's a look at your extended 10 day forecast, probably brought to you by Hunter Plumbing Services. Beyond tomorrow's storms, a great weekend is in the forecast under pearly to most of sunny skies all day long. And then we're back to our typical summer term, uh, summertime rain chances, that is, as we head into next week. Afternoon high is climbing into the upper 80s to lower 90s. Overnight low is falling into the mid to upper 70s. And as you head further inland, a very similar story. Beyond tomorrow's afternoon showers and storms, a great weekend is in sight along with our next chance of rain coming on Monday and Tuesday of next week. Afternoon highs climbing into the low to mid 90s, overnight lows falling into the low to mid 70s. Have a great Friday and an, and an even better weekend.